When it came yeah. about, with a, yeah, it was a Vegas radio call me and talking about my career and there was other boxing correspondents on the station. I was saying how lucky I was, my career, you know, I happened to get the breaks, which a lot of great fighters don't get the breaks. Yeah. It uh, went well, I was very happy, you know, uh, a couple of things went to my disadvantage, but worked out to be my advantage, you know, as time went on. I said, but there's one fight I wanted and I couldn't get, and it was against Roy Jones, and I spoke to him about how I went to his backyard, I sat in the house with his managers, I climbed into the ring and challenged him, I said, but he ran. I said, if he was a coward, I couldn't do anything about that. So, you know, he has to live with that. Obviously, he either got a report or heard um, the radio program, and uh, he obviously made a comment that he would do X, Y, Z now with me, and I said, well, of course, this was, was, was passed on to me, and my yeah. reply was, if Roy Jones thinks that I've gone soft in my old age, he's making a big mistake, because I do to him now what I would have done 15 years ago. And he says, well, if you want to, I'm willing to fight you. And I went, okay, let's get her on. So it's just happened. Okay. Uh, no, um, so the history between you is, you reckon he was always running away from you. You were a great champion in your day, but you wanted to fight him, and he was too chicken to fight you, was it? I wouldn't put it as strong as that. I mean, you yeah. know, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I could be fighting. I don't want to wind them up too much. You okay, know? okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm new to this kind he, of thing. We right? both kind of, we both were around. It was a great era of boxing when Marvin Hagler was around and Sugar Ray Leonard and these guys, and they retired. And then we kind of filled the void a couple of years later. And we both kind of, I, I was based in the United States and I came back to the UK. So I was well established over there. I was US champion. I followed the title back to the UK because Eubank and Ben brought it over here. And I finally got my chance and I became world champion. And he was the top dog in America that side of the, uh, the yeah. ocean, I was the top dog over here, and we fought everybody except each other, and it was the natural fight to happen, and I wanted it, and I was everything my power for it to happen, but he wouldn't have it. So I said, well, I guess he's afraid, because yeah. he knows I'll beat him, and it's a lot of money, every reason for it to happen, and if it doesn't happen, it's gonna be a great fight that never took place, and I've always said that. Yeah. 15 years on, I'm still saying the same thing. And do you think you could beat him? No, let, did, have, we have a picture of him there, I think. Like, he, he's a tough guy, yeah? Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm a, uh, he's still fighting, right? How old is he now? He's, he, he was 44 uh, last week. He, he was, he's, he's scheduled to fight in March this year. He's going to have one more fight, but that may be knocked in the head now if our fight is signed. Okay. Um, yeah, he's, he's tough, but you know.